Hello, 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 hello. How y'all doing? Well, I don't know where to start it. I don't know where to start it. I need my other phone. No, I'm going to go get my computer. I'm going to get my computer in a few minutes. But before I do that, let me say welcome, welcome, welcome to my empire. 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 Let me say now, welcome, 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 welcome to my empire. I messed that up, didn't I? Mm -hmm, I sure did. Y'all, let me get ready to get into this video. Um, I'm going to have to do another avatar because... I've been having these avatar for quite some time. I can't move, and if I do, I'm gonna mess it up. But let me let me say this here, y'all. I'm just gonna let me let me tell y'all a little bit of my little business. I want I want to talk about me for a minute. Me 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 me. My little boyfriend, he ain't know but about. He he my boyfriend. He's so short, y'all. He a little bit old short. I call him a little midget. But anywho, let me turn this TV down. I'm watching some old crazy movie. And, and speaking of movie, I'm going to get ready to get into that, too. I'm going to be breaking this thing down in a couple sections. This first section is going to be about my guy friend. Y'all, he mad with me. But let me get back to his short. I'm 5'5". Five, five. He say he 5'6". I don't see it. I don't see it for nothing in the world. I see us being the same height. He's not a tall man. He's a little short man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I'm going to say it like this. I'm going to get a little graphic a little bit. You know, small things come in a little package, okay? Mm -hmm. He been like that forever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, y'all. But anyway, that's my friend. And I like him, you know. We've been kicking it for about three, four months now. And um, I go home and I visit him and he'll come here. He been here once and visit me. He'll be coming back, but he couldn't come to visit me. It's because his car was in the shop. So now he don't got his car to shop. So that's here and there. You know what I'm saying? But he mad because I told him he couldn't come down here. Y'all like my hair? He got mad because I said no. He wanted to come and visit me after work. And I told him, no, you cannot. You know, I don't want to be bothered right now. He was like, oh, he went into detail saying, I don't love him. I don't want him. I must got somebody down here in Florida that I'm dealing with. And he trusts me, but he can't see me. And then when he'll call me and, and, and I would just go straight pick up the phone. And he want to be FaceTime because he want to look around the apartment and see somebody here or somebody in the room. And I said, you should know me better than that. I got my grandbaby here with me. My grandbaby, 15 years old. You get what I'm saying? And she deal with Mother Nature. So I'm not going to have nobody in my apartment around my grandbaby. And I got to go to work. The devil is alive. Not this grandmama. This grandmama here don't be playing the radio, baby. And I didn't play it when my children were small. When my four girls was teenagers, I didn't play that. No, I did not. I have all these different characters around my uh, children. I had company, you know, my girlfriends, they came over and and, and, the, and we had some friend, guy friends to come over. But one thing for sure and two things for certain, my kids used to be outside playing because they didn't have. I had a Nintendo. Yes, I did. I had a Nintendo, but my kids wasn't into game playing. I was. I played the game, but my kid wasn't. My children stayed outside playing with their friends or went to the park. Or I gave them some money. They go swimming or they went to the skate ring or to the boys and girl clubs, the YMCA. My kids did stuff like that. So my kids was not around me when I had company. And then my company, we sat outside and, you know, we had a couple of drinks and, you know, they smoked they little whatever stuff they smoke you get what i'm saying the stuff that goes in the air and make them feel happy make them feel good you know but um they would go in the mind you know they would go and use the bathroom come back out y'all already know how it is you get what i'm saying but my children was not home they was out playing when my kids did come home my company still stayed outside so i didn't play that and i didn't allow a man to watch my kids when they were small it, it was either my mother, she kept them, rest in peace to you, Ma, I love you so, so much, and I miss you so, so much. But it was my mother or one of my cousins. 
and it would be just one of my cousins, Emmanuel, because he didn't have children, you know? Or they would go to my mother's next door. They would go to the lady that stayed next door to my mother, and they'll play with her daughter. This is one crazy movie, but anyway, I want to get into that. Yeah. So by my grandbaby being here, he can, he comes, but her mother's here when he comes. You can, and I'm here, you know. So she's never left alone with Ryan him. But yeah, he's upset that I told him no, he couldn't come, and I told him just to wait until you know his little birthday come around. You know, I live in Florida, and, and it's some things that we can go out and do, you know? So his birthday is in September, and I, I just like, just come in September. You don't, don't come now, you know? And another reason why I'm trying to be considerate of him is because he has a nine-year-old little girl, and that little girl has to go to school, and she live with him. She's with the mother now, but... When, she, when it's time to go back to school, y'all, y'all check this out. She had to go back to him. So I want him to stay consistent and focus on her. I'm not a selfish, uh, uh, you know, woman when it comes to children. I don't be playing about these children, baby, period. Because I have a lot of gr um, grand granddaughters and a lot of grandsons, okay? So, I, you know, he's, he was like, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I take care of that. I'm going to worry about that because I want to make sure that she's okay. She been okay um, before I met you, yes, but I know she'll be okay now. But since I'm involved with you, I, I want to make sure. I don't want to. I don't want to take him away from her at all, you know. And I don't want her to feel like, oh, my daddy has a girlfriend. Because her daddy haven't had a girlfriend in so long, you know, and I'm the first one. And I don't want her to feel no type of way that I'm coming in to take her father from her. That's not the case. That's no, 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 no. But the baby mama don't understand. And I wouldn't expect for her to understand because she the baby mama. Y'all feel where I'm coming from, you know. Like I said again, y'all might be like, Brene, I know you lying, but I'm going by what he telling me, okay? He told me he haven't been with nobody. Um, matter of fact, he was married, and after the divorce, him and his um, ex-wife separated, okay? She got her own place, he got his own place, and he haven't had no woman around his daughters, because he got a 16-year-old, and... He haven't had anybody around them because he said he didn't feel comfortable. But by him knowing me for thirty some years, he's okay with it. He know he know me, and I know him. You get what I'm saying? So therefore, I'm he's okay with me coming around the girls, you know. And I met him, and, and that was it. And you know, it worked that fine. But I don't want him to be mad with me. If I don't pick up the phone, he get upset with me. Um, he don't talk crazy and he don't disrespect me because I told him hey that's not what we gonna do period we don't do the disrespectful thing I don't play the disrespectful thing you and, and I don't allow him to even um, disrespect me because if you allow a man to disrespect you one time they're gonna continue on to do it yeah I'm getting up close to the camera because I want y'all to see me and hear me so if you allow a man to disrespect you one time they're gonna get comfortable with it and they're going to continue on to do it. So I don't allow him to do that. And I made it clear with him when we started talking. Hey, these are the pros and the cons with me. Number one, you're not going to disrespect me. You're not going to talk to me out the side of your neck either. Okay. And I'm going to do the same for you. So we're going to respect one another. We get mad at one another. Hey, we don't need to talk to each other for a couple of days until one shall cool down before someone says something that they regret. Y'all feel where I'm coming from? So. That's just how I feel. So I have to sometimes knuckle up and, 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 you know, really have a talk with him. Let him know you need to calm down and relax. It's no use in you getting upset, getting your heart racing, and all that. For what? You're not Coco and I'm not Lele, you know? And when he do really pisses me off, I call him Stank Stank. And he do. He don't like that, y'all. I call him Stank Stank. Y'all know that's a little child name. And again, like I said, he's short. You know, you look at your little grandbaby or your little child, and you say, hey, Stank Stank. That's how I do him. Yeah, I call him Stank Stank when you piss me off. 
And he just go, boy, he just get all whack, all out the head. Then he go to talking all crazy. But anyway, number two. That's number one. I got out the way about my little guy friend. He's so sweet, y'all. He really take care of me. He he do he do provide for me. You know, he he'll he'll call and ask me, do I need anything or do I need a bill paid? You know what I'm saying? And I tell him no. I don't want him paying my bill because my bill is not that expensive. I try to keep my bill bills at a minimum, especially when the light bill, water bill, cable bill, you know. I try to keep those things in a minimum at fifty dollars or fifty five dollars. So I tell him no. He was like, Are you sure? I said, I'm good, you know. No, I mean I work, you know, and I do YouTube. And he mad about that because I won't tell him my YouTube name. I told him, no, sir. Mm -mm. Where they do that at? Where they do that at? Where they do that at? It's not going to happen. So, uh, I, I don't ask him for money. You know, he'll, sit, he'll cash out my grandbaby some money, you know, to get us something to eat. You know, when I don't feel like cooking or something like that. Or he'll give her enough to where he's, you know... So I can get me something. But other than that, that's it. I don't ask that guy for anything. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I extend my hands out to him as well. You know, and I ask him, do he need anything? You know, is there anything I can help him with? You know, and he was like, no, nah, you know, babe, I'm good. I'm good. You don't have to give me anything. I'm here to take care of you. You don't take care of me. You know, so we don't go no farther than that. We leave it at that. But I did tell him um, when he do come down that... Um, I do want to take him to breakfast. I want to go to IHOP. He's not a big eater. You know, he'll eat, but he's not a big eater like I am. But like I told him, I said, I want to take you to breakfast or lunch or dinner or something like that for his birthday. You know, because he never had nobody to um, take him out. You know, never. And I told him, well, we can have a, you know, I can come to Georgia. We can have a little cookout. You know, do something for him for his birthday. But anyway... I'm done with that part. Now, what I want to talk about was, you guys, I did three videos this morning going shopping at the different hat store. Tell me why I end up deleting them. I deleted my videos that I was going to post. This is why I'm coming out here now, making up for the three dang on blessing videos. I deleted by mistake trying to clear out my phone because I didn't have enough space to upload one of the videos that I that I did. And I messed around and deleted all three of them. I went hair shopping. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's why I had to go buy a camera from Amazon. I was so, I wasn't mad. Let me take that back. I was going to say I was mad. No, I was not mad. At all. I wasn't mad because I knew I can go back and do other videos to make up for the video. I'm, I was yawning, y'all. Excuse me. For the video that I lost. But let's get, let, let, let me get into this here. And yeah. I watched the movie Cloning Tyrone. When I tell you, that was what, what you know, that was one of the videos. I did, I made. When I tell you that movie is something else. If you've been following up with the clone, with what they saying Jamie Foxx, you know, had his stroke and Jamie Foxx is deceased and they cloned Jamie Foxx, then for this movie to come out the same time he was in the hospital with the stroke and with the cloning. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And at the end, I'm going to tell just this part. I'm going to tell three parts, but still you got to watch it. Oh, the parts I want to tell, I ain't going to tell you. I'm, <laughs> let me say this. When the movie was over with and Erica Badu song popped up, you better call Tyrone. They took the call part out. And they said you better clone Tyrone. That's at the end of the movie. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. 
I ain't going to even give y'all nothing. I ain't going to even tell y'all nothing. Y'all have to go and watch it. Watch it close. Watch it real close. I mean, do not get distracted. Be ready. Be prepared to hear what what this the I'm gonna call him a leader. This leader said, "Do what this white man said." In the middle, almost at the end, but in the middle of the of the uh, moving, I was like, "Get the out of here!" And the dude that planned the part, Tyrone, and you got Jamie Foxx in it too. But y'all go look at it and we can talk about it. Go look at it. I'm stuck. Will I go look at it again? No, because it won't be excited as it was the first time. Because when I tell you, baby, I was sitting in this recliner chair with my big eyes glued to it. I had to go get my glasses. I had to go get my glasses. Y'all just wouldn't believe it. You, you'll see it one time, and if you if you watch it one time, and you put the pieces together, and you stay focused, and and and, and you know y'all can watch. We, we you watch some movie sometime, and you got to go back and look at it the second time because you missed something or you didn't catch something. That's what one of these movies is. That's what what it's all about. So will I go back and watch it? No, because I caught everything in the movie and how I caught everything in the movie is because I went and watched this guy on YouTube that I did a reaction on but I never posted it about him talking about Jamie Foxx and this cloning you get what I'm saying about Jamie Foxx on the boat waving when I when when I when I seen that picture of Jamie Foxx on the boat on this young man channel and when I watched the movie and I watched how one of the guys was cloned and I put that together, I'm like, wow. Uh, when Jamie Foxx went to, um, he was golfing inside of a place and how he just paused and was looking, looking out and, you know, just looking out. And then when you look at the movie of Jamie Foxx, <laughs> Woo. Woo. Baby. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I was just blown away. And there's a lot of movies out on Tubi that I've been catching up on. I know one uh, sector said that um she was gonna watch this movie and um i went and looked at it and honey it, it it went all up to what i thought it was gonna be i looked at it and i thought it was gonna be more to it it was just this guy in atlanta georgia he um got up and was telling his kids to get ready for school i'm assuming those are those are his original kids but um, he was telling his kids to get up for school and then he went in the kitchen, started cooking cabbage and some kind of meat. And he started talking about his grandmother and he was on the phone with his best friend and he went outside and cut grass. You know, I, it just didn't do nothing for me. It really didn't do anything for me. I'm, I'm sorry. That movie, it was just a short film. That's pretty much what it was. If y'all go see it, it ain't even worth seeing, you ask me. But I did have a third thing I want to talk about, but I just can't remember. But those are the two things I just wanted to talk about. My guy friend and the cloning of Tyrone. It's something serious, y'all. But again, I, I hope y'all go and check out my uh, rears as well. A lot, Some of them reaching 1.K. Some of them two, some of them five. I try to get all my reels up to 1K. Because um, that helps me out a lot as well. And the more people watch them, 
the more I can get out here and do, you know. And um, my channel is growing. It's growing slowly, but it's growing. It takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. For some people, it do. For some people, it don't. And I'm one of those people that it don't. So I'm not going to stress over something I cannot control, right? So um, I'm going to get ready to get out of here, you guys. And um, y'all have a great Friday. I'm sitting here watching some stupid movie. I really I have went and took care of my business. What I need to do today and... I'm going to go to um, downtown Lakeland and show y'all this beautiful garden tomorrow. I may even go live there tomorrow because it is so beautiful. And they keep it real clean, neat, you know. So, y'all have a good one. And I just want to talk about my little guy friend again. He's upset with me. It is what it is. I miss him, though. I miss my friend. I love me some him. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.